So, you need to pass the PPL or maybe even the dreaded CPL performance exam. One of the things you'll be required to calculate is pressure and density height at an aerodrome given certain conditions. Hi, I'm Ben from Sydney Aviation Theory and we're always amazed at how many pilots get themselves into a mess when doing these calculations. But it doesn't have to be that way. In this video and in more detail on our theory courses, we'll show you that with the right method and a bit of practice, you'll not only get the answer correct every time, but you'll do it quickly, leaving some valuable minutes in the exam to check other things or save time in your flight planning. There's a golden rule here that makes all the difference. You must draw a diagram. Here's how I do it. You're given the variables in a question. Start with drawing in mean sea level, followed by the aerodrome. Fill in the details from the question. In this example, it's a Q&H of 1019, a temperature at the aerodrome of 24 degrees, and an elevation of 2,500 feet. Now think where the isodatum of 1013 would be. Is it above or below mean sea level? In this example, 1013 is less than the Q&H, so as air pressure decreases with height, it must be above sea level. Now work out how far above sea level. The difference in air pressure is 6 hectopascals. We apply 30 feet per hectopascal, so 180 feet. The pressure height, by definition, is the height above or below the ISA 1013 datum. And the diagram helps us work this out as 2500 minus 180, which is 2320. That's pressure height. Now, with just one more calculation, we can work out the density height. The temperature of the aerodrome is given as 24 degrees. We need to know how this differs from ISA for this particular day at this particular aerodrome. ISA at sea level is 15 degrees Celsius and it decreases at 2 degrees per thousand feet. So at 2,500 feet it should have decreased by 5 degrees to 10 degrees. So today instead of the ISA temp of 10 we have 24 which I call ISA plus 14. We apply a correction factor of 120 feet per degree of deviation from ISA. That's 1,680 feet. Simply add this to your pressure height, and there's your density height, 4,000 feet. With a bit of practice, you'll be handling these with ease in no time. On all of our theory courses, we cover the CASA syllabus in full and make even the most difficult things as easy as we can. At Sydney Aviation Theory, it's theory classes the way you like it. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up, follow the links to find out more about Sydney Aviation Theory on Facebook, and watch our other videos on YouTube as we add them.